welcome to my booktube channel. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to be doing a spoiler free review of Last Scene Leaving by Caleb Rorig. This book is about a boy named Flynn whose girlfriend January has recently disappeared. The cops are asking a lot of questions and none of her friends really seem to know what's going on, none of their stories add up, but January isn't the only one with secrets and Flynn has to decide how far he's willing to go to protect his. I actually had the pleasure of meeting this author recently at a book festival, so if you're interested in watching my vlog of that, I'll link it down below as well as on the screen. Without further ado, let's get into my review. The first thing that strikes you about this book is definitely the cover, which is stunning, but then you are immediately hooked by the opening line. There was a corpse in my neighbor's front yard. Probably one of the best opening lines I've seen in YA in a long time. Throughout the entire novel, the writing is solid and fast-paced, and everything is really well-structured. There was never a moment when I knew exactly what was going on, which is all that I could really hope for in this genre. Because as told from Flynn's perspective, we see a lot of his internal dialogue and his personal struggle. Sometimes in books this can be annoying, but that wasn't the case at all. Because while Flynn is definitely a very flawed character, I really liked him. He felt like a very real, honest portrayal of a teenage boy. He made a lot of mistakes, which is obviously something that we as human beings do. As for January, she's an anomaly. She's this very complicated, withdrawn person who has a rough home life and she's just trying to find something worth holding on to. With both of these characters, sometimes I really loved them and I was on their side, other times I was yelling at the page trying to tell them that what they were doing was only going to get them into more trouble. January tells lie after lie, so much so that you can never really tell if it's fact or fiction coming from her, and Flynn withholds important information from both his family and the cops in order to keep his secret. This book is definitely a hundred percent mystery slash thriller, but it reminded me in some ways of Paper Towns by John Green. The overall content was very different, obviously, but in both cases you have this very elusive, mysterious girl and the boy who is, in a way, always chasing after her. But I loved this story because it wasn't just about the complicated relationship between these two characters. It was also a mystery with twists and turns that keep you guessing, a social commentary on rape culture, and the story of finding yourself and ultimately accepting every part of who you are. There was also a certain couple, which I really can't discuss because technically I guess it's a spoiler, but they were so cute and I shipped them to the ends of the earth. There was also an incredible amount of diversity in this novel, which I really, really appreciate appreciated seeing. In conclusion, this was a great story with even better characters, the kind of story that will stick with you for a long, long time. I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. You guys should let me know down below if you have read this book and what you thought of it, or if you are planning on reading it, because I highly suggest that you do. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. I post new videos twice a week. If you guys would like to follow me on Twitter or any of my social medias, I will leave the links to those in the description box below, as always. But most of all, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!